All right, guys, welcome back. Picked up this 2007 CBR 1000 RR the other day. Got it on Copart. Not listed as running and driving. Got some pretty bad front end accident damage here. The rim is destroyed up front. It's got bends in two different places. It's missing the battery completely for some reason in the rider seat. It doesn't appear to have any leaks of any sort. It still has all of its oil, I believe, and its coolant, which is pretty rare. I usually have all the coolant missing on a, a bike I pick up like this with uh, damage, but it still has the radiator seems to still be okay and the coolant all in the container. So I was looking at it and it appears that someone's already bypassed the tip sensor right here. The bike's been in several accidents before. Um, I could tell by looking at the bike history. So potentially at some point it was in a front end accident and someone just didn't uh, replace the tip sensor. So I was thinking I needed to buy a tip sensor because it's destroyed, but it's already been bypassed. So from what I can see, it just, it comes with the, it came with the key. So might just need to put a battery in it and the bike might run. So it's usually not that easy though. So that's kind of just, uh, <laughs> that's the hope. Right now, that's uh, what we're shooting for is just need the battery. So we're gonna charge up a battery, throw a battery in there and see if this bike will run. Shouldn't need anything else. It didn't come with the gauge cluster, sadly. The gauge cluster was destroyed and left in the, the junkyard. So I couldn't retrieve that. So don't know the mileage. I know it's probably well over 20,000 though. Probably between 20, 30,000 miles, something like that. It's a pretty old bike, but let's we'll see if we can get it running and we'll decide what we're gonna do after we get it running, if we can get it running, so. Doesn't seem to be a too bad of a bike. It's got a brand new rear tire, like brand new rear tire. This is probably why the bike got into the accident. They probably gave it too much throttle with a brand new rear tire and probably lost it, probably dumped the bike, so. Really no damage in the rear. It's all focused up front here, so. Like I said, let's get that battery in there and see if this thing will fire up. I originally was gonna part it out, probably will, but won't know until we can get this thing running. One thing I do want to note is that the throttle is obviously completely missing. Busted off, the bar end is hanging on by a thread. The throttle cables are right here and they're destroyed as well. So I won't be able to rev the bike up and be able to control the throttle at all unless I go into here and manually mess with the cables, which I might have to do. But first thing is we're gonna try to start this bike, so. All right, so I got kind of an old battery thrown in there. It should have enough juice to at least prime the fuel pump if the fuel pump is gonna prime. If not, I got a little booster pack right there. I'll throw on it, but got that all set. So let's turn the key and see what happens. Fingers crossed. I forgot that the brake reservoir is pinching down on the kill switch. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a 10 millimeter, remove this bolt, take the tension off this kill switch. We're able to flip this. I think that might be our problem here. Go ahead and just pull this off completely. It's broken. Well, it's pretty much broken. All the other parts are broken off of it. That's all that's left. So pull that off. Let's flip this switch. See if something happens. Oh, I think I heard fuel pump. Pretty sure that was a fuel pump priming. Let's double check that oil real quick. I know there's coolant.
So, it started up. Um, <laughs> the throttle is completely wide open, obviously, um, as you could hear. So, we have to bust into this throttle, loosen that up, and try to start this thing back up. All right, I've opened up the throttle. It's now just hanging loose. Try it again so it's not wide open throttle. Won this bike for $800 at Copart, brought it home for $1,300 after fees. I'll throw the winning bid up on the screen so you guys can see it. It doesn't get any better than that. Solid running 2007 CBR 1000 for 800 bucks. All it needed was a battery and the kill switch freed up and it started right up. The throttle is obviously stuck, as you saw, so we needed to free up the throttle, and the bike runs just fine. Couldn't ask for anything else. The exhaust is actually kind of nice on it, a little slip on right there, so it doesn't sound too bad. Got a lot of options. I could rebuild this bike. It's got a clean title. I could put it back on the road, register it. It's going to cost a little bit of money. It needs, can't just probably replace this rim. It's a pretty unique rim, so I'm probably going to have to get two sets of rims. Uh, probably have to take the extension off can't deal with that needs all new fairings needs some repair on the right side as you can see right here brakes need replaced completely the front master is just gone i think maybe the calipers are salvageable forks are all good so it just needs like headlights stuff up here handlebars so i don't see the parts being super super expensive but the money would definitely be in parting it out i could sell that motor in the frame Everything on eBay make a lot more money than rebuilding it, so. Alright guys, as you can see, I've decided to tear it down. I don't know if I'll ever even upload this video because um, you guys on YouTube don't seem to like part out videos, seem to like rebuild videos more, so. I'm going to do something different with this one. I'm going to tear this bike all apart, and obviously all the bad parts will be thrown away. And all the good parts I'll be listing on eBay. And I thought it'd be interesting at the end of this video, after tearing it all down, to go through all the parts I've listed, how much I listed them for, how much I bought the bike for, and you can kind of see the price breakdown versus the purchasing of the bike, receiving it from Copart, and then tearing it all down, listing it on eBay. You'll see how much money I'll be making potentially on the parts. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting. Like I said, we started the tear down, just got the plastics off, the exhaust off, just the simple things. So now we're going to start tearing into like the gas tank, the electronics, all that stuff. We're going to drain the fluids, drop the engine, and tear it all apart. So let's get to it. All right, it's the future now. We have all the seals collected. As you can see, I sold the rear tire there. Sold the frame as well. Clean title. Sold the key set and the ignition. Top triple. Also sold the calipers, so able to salvage those. Sold the little vents from the back. Sold the rectifier regulator. Got the left control headlight switch sold. 
Got a good amount for the fuel pump there. Sold that exhaust pretty fast. One of the first things I sold was the engine itself. This guy bought two things from me, steering damper and the coolant container. Sold the radiator with the fan and hoses as well. Subframe and battery tray, everything together. I had something damaged in transit, actually had to refund a seller, that happens sometimes. Sold a clutch master cylinder from it. Sold the whole entire warrior harness, there was actually like no damage to it. ECU was sold. Fuel tank, no damage to that as well. And probably the first thing I sold was the head front headlight wiring harness. And so now we have the totals here. All in all, parts sold, 39.66.88 cents. And we're going to go ahead and remove the total for the cost of the bike after co-part fees and everything, 13.51. Then we had to rent a truck as well. That was $130. We had to fuel up the truck. That was totaled altogether after all the two stops had to fuel it was $62. eBay takes 13% of all sales. So that was about $515. And then after you factor in shipping costs and the biggest thing I had to ship was the engine which was probably about $130 to ship altogether. Shipping was probably about $500 on the high side leaving me with a profit of $1,400. So you tell me if that's worth it. It's not bad. Uh, that's pure profit. So I probably would have made about the same rebuilding it and spent way more time rebuilding it. So you guys let me know if it's worth it in the comments. Thanks for watching.